a combined event, maybe a new face in our team and the name of a beloved place. Not such a long time ago, we've been to Delavi, Georgia, with a lot of stray dogs. Now we made it to Cyprus, the island of cats, as people are usually saying, and I have to confirm it's true. Again, we had two tournaments in a row. This time a so-called combined event, with men and women at the same time at the same location. The men's events were $15,000 futures, the women's were $25,000 futures, so ranking-wise the women's draw was pretty tough. The tournaments were held in Limassol, the second biggest city located in the south of Cyprus. There are a bit more than 100,000 people living here. One of the famous sons of the city is Marcos Bagdatis, who actually came to watch some of the matches. The Famagusta Tennis Club is a nice facility. They had a good coffee, what made my days here even more enjoyable. The matches were played on six hard courts with only one practice court during the day. That made me less happy. Good practice opportunities are rounding up a good tournament for me as a coach. Probably some players are okay with it, having a good excuse to spend less time on the court. Female tennis players are usually always eager to hit and since the tournament office didn't give out specific practice times, discussions were inevitable. Besides having only one court for practice, the surface of the court was not in the best condition either. All over the courts there were some slick spots and the bounce there was unpredictable. So if you are already struggling to put the ball in, that didn't make it easier. On four of the hard court, the surface was renewed just before the tournament started. Therefore, the courts were pretty slow, but nice to play on. Unfortunately, they didn't renew the other two courts where matches were played, and these courts were definitely faster. Something I was not happy about. This sport is challenging enough, so there should be no extra unnecessary distraction. A new face was joining us for the trip here. Nico Jäger from Switzerland was reaching out to me for a possible cooperation in the near future. We did a tryout here in Cyprus and I think the chemistry between us was working well. So I hope he will be able to come to Vienna in January in order to do the pre-season together with us. As in many cases, it is a financial question as well. So I hope he will be able to find the necessary support to establish the funds. He has the potential to be a dangerous player, but he needs help to create a clear picture what he would like to present on the court. When you are building a house, what is essential? You need a solid fundament and basement to build on, and when the storm or earthquake comes, the building should not shake too much or even collapse. So that would be the first step in the work with Nico on the court. In general, seeing some of the players reminds me of a nice billiard place close to my home because they have something in common. The name of the place is Hit and Hope. The weather was actually pretty nice. The temperatures mostly in the mid 20s. Some days were pretty windy, but we were on an island in November. No need to complain about that. In the first week, we only had rain on the day of the final on Sunday, but somehow they were able to finish the matches after sunset. The lights were good, so it was no problem to play in the evening as well.
Sebastian was doing better this week by winning two matches and reaching the quarterfinals. Here a few points from the first round against the Dutch qualifier Brett Schneider. In the second round he beat the Austrian Jonas Trinka in three sets before losing to the second seed Polish player Bieczkowski in three tough sets. With two ATP points for the quarterfinals, there's not much happening in the rankings, but winning matches always helps your confidence. Nevertheless, I wasn't too happy with some parts of the matches. We need to improve the capability to maintain the level Sebastian is already able to show. So, there's work waiting for us in the preseason coming up in January. That's it for this week in Limassol. Second recap will come. I hope to see you on the next video.